Now, I'm gonna gotta have a green that's over the top of a purple. I'm just gonna add a lot more blue into that green as I go over there, and it's gonna be, it's going to look a lot nicer. So when it goes over the purple, because green over purple <coughs> is not pretty. So see how I'm constantly thinking about colors? To go around the whole wing. I'm going to let you finish that wing right there. And I'll come right off the edge there. Okay, so I'm going, I've gone here, here, now I'm going to lead you down here. And again, I, we get into my favorite, favorite part where I get to do a bit of the darks. And I mix the black colors. And, um, and I want, I've already got actually the blackest black. Hopefully, are you looking right here? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's where I want you to look. Um, I love this blue color, so I think I want to repeat that somewhere else. And you know how you get that really pretty blue? Mm -hmm. Cobalt with a touch of red rose deep. It's just a wonderful blue mm -hmm. It's a purpley blue. At this point, are you concerning yourself with temperature of those colors when you're choosing those? You know, I should be, but I'm really not. Who asked the question? Okay. Um, you do want your painting to be mainly dominantly cool or warm, and mine are almost always cool. You know, I love purples and, and greens, and so uh, that's, that's what I'm going to be going with. But um, I, I basically look at this a lot. This actually, this particular painting is the one that is on this how-to thing. Did anybody look at this during the break? And you'll see that as you go along, there's lots of things that you have to say, okay, I have to make a decision about this. This um, bullseye here, got the same um, tracing paper, and this is, um, what is this called? Acetate. 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 <laughs> and, and what I love to do is, is to have the illusion of flight, or at least just a part of a bird <coughs> maybe behind. <coughs> and the way you do that is to put the, you know, I've cut this out already, and I'm just scrubbing with the <coughs> brush. In the opening? In the opening. Just a toothbrush. <coughs> this is a cold 
Okay, toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> Put an extra pen. So many, so many toothbrush are angled now. It yeah, I know. It's hard to find. But find what it does is I got the illusion of another bird back there without really spelling it out very much. I just want to put that wing just a little bit more up there. Um, you know what works really well for this is if you go underneath bacon, you know, mm -hmm. how many still eat bacon? <laughs> okay. I love bacon. <laughs> this morning. Um, underneath the bacon is that cloudy plastic yeah. thing. That's super. You see how this is a red dot on this? Do you ever try to look for this? <laughs> you can't find it. It's just it just disappears in your carpet. You know? I, I honestly can't find it. So I I decided okay I'm gonna put these little red dots on it and no more of that. Okay. Um. And then all of a sudden, I noticed that this corner, pretend that this corner is gone. I didn't notice it. I'm doing the painting, the whole thing, and then this painting, this side is gone. And so I thought, it was like torn off. So I thought, mm. okay, geez, I love this painting. And I put the little, you know, the mat on it every which way, and I'm like, well, I need that corner. You know, what am I going to do? So what I did was... I tore out parts, like that corner. So, let me show you how you do this. Don't you do it. Oh! Oh! No! Oh. 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 Do it! 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 Now, oh. this is also, this is another lesson, okay? Um, how many of you stretch your paper and then want to have the frayed edges? It's, it really works neat to go along the side, go along the edge so you got hand underneath the table here. She's going to do it. I am going to do it. All right. Ready? Uh huh. No. Okay. And then. Okay. That's one, but I have to do four. Okay. Oh, you got to be kidding. This way. <laughs> now, there's different ways that you can rip this. Um, you can rip it, if you rip it towards you, there's going to be a white edge. And if you rip it away from you, then it won't be. So it's kind of fun to switch it back and forth. I'm going to lead you down to this one. Hmm? Now, the reason this, I put this on top.